This segment is sponsored by the Center for Medicine in the Public Interest. The 340B program was created in 1992 to enhance prescription drug access for low-income Americans and the underinsured. But are hospitals and pharmacies taking advantage of this program? Here to help us navigate this is Peter Pitts, the president and co-founder of the Center for Medicine in the Public Interest. Peter, so great to have you here. My pleasure, thank you. Okay, the 340B program, what was the original purpose behind this initiative? Well, the intent of 340B is pretty straightforward, to provide uninsured and financially strapped patients with access to lower cost pharmaceuticals, upwards of 50%, oftentimes higher. And it's required uh, by law that pharmaceutical companies sell certain hospitals, largely not-for-profit ones, these drugs at radically reduced prices. Theory is, give people broader access, they're healthier, that's the right thing to do. Unfortunately, that whole concept has been entirely warped. In 2021, uh, the government program provided about $44 billion uh, in savings from the 340B program. $13 billion of that went into the pockets of hospitals and care to needy populations decreased radically. Uh, that's because there's no transparency. Uh, that's got to change. And that's some of the findings. There was a recent report that looked into it. So that was some of the findings that they found. How, how are they taking advantage of this? Well, you know, in, in a lot of nefarious ways, you know, for example, they are not taking these 340B drugs and selling them at the 340B price. They are selling them at full price to more affluent insured Americans and pocketing the difference. They're not even giving the discount to needy populations. They're selling it at full price and pocketing the difference. They're actually prescribing more expensive drugs versus less expensive drugs that do the same job so they can charge higher prices, pocket the discounts, and make more money. Hospitals are pocketing $13 billion, which in many, in many respects means that they're stealing $13 billion away from needy Americans. My father would call that stealing. Unfortunately, this is legal under the current 340B program because there's no transparency and there's no requirement that the 340B drug be sold at 340B prices, and that's got to change. Oh, so it's more of kind of a recommendation, of, like since they're not required these prices, the patients are then paying more when they shouldn't be. That, that, that's exactly right. And that's a complete contortion of the legislative intent, which is why Congress really has to get involved. I don't think it's a very heavy lift, one, to insist that hospitals report regularly how they're using those 340B right. products, one, and two, that a 340B product be charged by the hospital at the price for which it was purchased, which is exactly what the legislative intent was meant to do. Well, and how much of this, like the patients may not even know about this program or know that they can get these type of discounts, so how do they know to advocate for themselves? Well, that's why we're doing these types of reports. It's important that patients understand that the system is being played by these large hospital systems. And believe me, people in Washington know that nobody's more powerful than hospital lobbies. You know, we need to know how the money's being spent. You know, are, the, are they increasing their salaries at, on the administrative floor? Are they buying Teslas and Mercedes? because certainly our doctors and nurses and pharmacists and people that work in the hospital are taking the brunt of the heat from patients who are being charged high prices. They're being betrayed by their management. And a solid dose of sunshine to make this more transparent would go a long way to naming and shaming and fixing the problem. Transparency is key in so much of this. What can we as consumers, what steps can we take? I think it's time right now for people, otherwise known as patients sometimes, to call their elected representatives in Washington, uh, in their various state houses, to call the PR departments of hospitals and complain that the 340B process is being abused for the purposes of profiting hospitals rather than helping patients. It's time for patients to really step up to the plate and do the right thing. I also think that doctors and nurses and pharmacists and hospital staff need to do that as well mm -hmm. because they're being made to look bad and it's not their fault. They're doing a lot mm -hmm. of very excellent work. They're working hard and their management is letting them down. Peter, such eye-opening information. Thank you so very much for sharing this with us this morning. My pleasure. Thank you very much.